cried like a diamond, shine under pressure. Oh, it's time to fire on up. Oh, it's time to fire on up. Pound on your chest like there's no tomorrow. Just play the game right, no one can follow. Oh, it's time to fire on up. What's going on guys? It's Saturday and Chrissy and I actually have a really busy day today so I don't get a big time block to work out. Uh, normally we'll do something in the morning, something in the afternoon, especially on Saturdays, but today's schedule is just not gonna allow for that. So I'm gonna do a workout that I've actually done before. Chrissy and I have both done uh, a couple times. It's normally like a go-to hotel workout or travel workout because it just doesn't require much equipment and I'm gonna share that with you guys. And all you're gonna need is a set of dumbbells. The good part about doing a workout I've done before, at least this workout, is I know for sure that I'm going to get a really good workout. The bad part about doing this workout again is I have done it before and I know how bad it's gonna hurt. So I've got that pre-workout anxiety knowing that I'm gonna have to work really hard. What this workout's gonna consist of is I'm gonna go every two minutes for 10 rounds. And in that two minute window, I'm going to do 10 dumbbell burpee down ups, 10 dumbbell front squats, and 10 dumbbell shoulder to overhead. So the entire workout's gonna take 20 minutes I can't remember to be honest with you how much rest I got, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'll probably show you guys maybe the first full round and the last full round. The first one's a little bit of a bait, I do remember that. It feels like it's a little bit more manageable than it is. Uh, you don't wanna pick the dumbbells up, but then once you do, you're able to kind of get those rounds in. We've done this traveling, staying at Airbnbs, we'll take some dumbbells. It's an easy thing to do if you're just at a hotel. Most hotels have at least a set of dumbbells. Today I'm gonna to be using 45s, and I just don't have much time, so this is gonna be my go-to and um, I know it's gonna crush me. So if you guys have some time or don't have much time, this is a great one to give a go to. best I can. That round was rough. I think uh, I'm gonna have a couple more of the rough, hopefully settle in for a little bit, and I think the last couple are probably gonna be really hard again. But yeah, that's, that's a free challenge. Yeah, consider that a victory. Sure. One, one, creeping in the shadows, catch you like you 
<laughs> That's really, really hard. <sighs> it's just as hard as I remember it. <laughs> uh, a couple things about us work out like that. Um, I guess first, like, if you guys want more workouts like that, we post on Ibex on our Instagram. That's really all we post is workouts. So when we find ones that we particularly like, whether it's a travel workout like that, a CrossFit style workout, um, or some bodybuilding, like we'll post just videos, kind of demoing the movements as well as the workout. So if you guys want more stuff like that, follow Ibex on Instagram. Uh, but another good thing about a workout like that that's got a timer is whether you're working out on your own or you're maybe traveling, the clock holds you accountable. So you're only gonna get so much rest and you can't really slack. So I wanted to be able to have like 50, 55 seconds of rest each round. That just kind of felt like the pace I was able to hold. So if you start slacking more than that, your rest is gonna go down and it's just gonna get uh, to be a quicker and quicker turnover. So having a clock with a good time frame workout really makes either working out by yourself or traveling a lot easier to get a really hard workout in. Uh, if I had just done like 10 rounds of that for time or something, I definitely would have slowed down. It probably would have taken me, you know, 14 or 15 minutes, but the intensity would have been a lot lower. So that was a really good way to keep the intensity really high uh, with a good work rest balance. It's, you know, a little bit less than one to one, but I worked super hard. Heart rate was through the roof. My legs were burning, so were my shoulders. Uh, I hung on every round of the dumbbell, which I think you guys definitely should if you do that. But we've done this one in class at our gym. We've done this one with Ibex and traveling. It is a great go-to workout. So uh, hopefully, you know, if you guys ever need it, you can kind of pull that one out of the bag. Uh, I've got a little bit extra time still, so I'm gonna do some core. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do. It's super simple. You can do this with or without a dumbbell. Today, I'm gonna use it with one. I'm gonna go through three sets of 20 leg lowers. I'm gonna hold the dumbbell behind my head. Then I'm gonna grab the dumbbell and I'm gonna do 20 ceiling crunch. Then I'm gonna do uh, 20 Russian twists. So I'll go through three sets of that with a minute or so rest in between. And that's just gonna be it for today for me. Um, and I got a killer workout. You guys can see I'm drenched. And I'm gonna get a little bit abs because everybody could use some more abs. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. <sighs> if you did, like, subscribe, let us know in the comments what you guys wanna see. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys around. Have a good weekend. Don't stop me.